Faz, first of all, just your thoughts on uh, what was a difficult evening at Notts County on Friday night. Yeah, obviously it wasn't ideal. They, uh, uh, credit to them, they played really well at night and uh, we, wasn't, we wasn't at it. And I think um, when, you, uh, when you go to places like that and you're, as a team, are not fully at it, um, you, can, you can get punished, which, which happened. And obviously we're all hurting. So obviously you, there's ways of losing games. And I think we have to take the responsibility as lads on the pitch and the lads who come on everything. And, and we do, we, like I say, we've got a good set of lads here. And we're, there was a lot of stern words being said after the game and obviously um, today, uh, which is Sunday, obviously we've had a lot of uh, stern words and um, we've addressed it. And like you're saying, is these things happen and um, we have to move forward now. Obviously we've, we've had a great first half to the season and, and no one in that dressing room, including the gaffer as well, want it to, to, to turn for nothing. So, um, yeah, we've trained today and uh, we're ready to try and put it right um, tomorrow. I suppose having a, a game so soon after, you can really work that towards your advantage when, when you are looking at bouncing back from a, a poor result. Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a crazy period. The, the Christmas and New Year's period, is, there's a lot of games and stuff. And um, no, it's... Uh, like you say, is, uh, the only way you can put it right is the next game and at the moment they're coming thick and fast so like you said it's a, a great opportunity for us to start home obviously with our crowd and everything we can try to put it right. I think as well you look at the table we're, we're currently six points from those playoff spots but with games in hand midway through the season we're in a pretty good, uh, a good place at the minute. No, definitely positive. It's, it's massively positive. I think um, if anyone would have took this at halfway of the season, I know we've had a really good start and, and, and it's deserving so. Do you know what I mean? The lads, we've, uh, we've been putting in some outstanding performance. We've consistency. We have got a really young squad, but we've, everyone at, at their parts have stepped up. And, and now it's about having that, that second push, getting that second win, which we will. And it's that second push to try. We're, we're not kidding anyone. Everyone in this team now wants to wants to do something this season, make this season into something one of those rememberable, uh, rememberable seasons, and um, that's what it all all is now. That's what we're gauging into, and that's what we're pushing hard towards. So it's Harrogate Town um, on New Year's Day. Um, themselves were in a, a great run before Friday. I think it was four unbeaten in the league um, until they lost at Tramier Rovers. Um, so they themselves will be looking to bounce back. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll be a tough game, and. Uh, we're gonna to have to uh, we we'll have to give them some respect, but at the end of the day, it's it's down to us. Like I said, if we turn up, we've already proven with the first half of the season we're we're a good match for anyone. And um, like you say, uh, I think uh, our mindset's all on putting uh, the other night to bed and uh, going back to to business, back to what we what we're known for, working hard. Do you know what I mean? Getting that result, mate, for, for first and foremost, getting that result. Yeah, I think. If we look at the reverse fixture, it was a, a, a difficult afternoon, wasn't it? A 2-0 loss. Is that something that, that you as players have in the back of your mind when, when you, know, you, you, you come to our place and, and you're playing them? Is revenge in the back of your mind or is it just kind of forgetting that, learning from it, of course, but just forgetting it and, and concentrating on, that, on, on this particular fixture? Yeah, I think it's a game at a time. I wouldn't say it's too much it's revenge. Obviously, it's football and on the day, they, they got the better of us. But like I was saying, it's a... It's been, that was quite a while ago, things have changed, you're in a different situation now and um, it's just about, like I said, taking it game by game and that's who we've got next and it, it, like I say, it's going to be a tough game, they have their, they have their strengths that we are, we'll have to adjust to and, um, but like I said, it, it, it's all about us really, it's concentrating on ourselves, like I say, if, if we, we do what we do and we play how we know we can play, then uh, we'll be a match for anyone. Uh, looking at 2023 as a whole, um, obviously it was disappointing to, to be relegated back in May, but the way we've hit the ground running this season, how do you kind of sum up the year as a whole? Um, no, like I saying, it was obviously it was disappointing to get relegated, but I feel like we did give it a right good go. And in, in a way, there was a little bit of a positive towards the end with the performances we were putting in, but ultimately we got relegated. And I think obviously... We rebuilt, and um, it's been a, it's been a really positive start to the season. And then, obviously, then we had even more changes recently with um, Derek leaving, and and then Jed's come in, and and then it's been another restructure in a way for for himself. And I think overall, personally, everyone can look at it and be quite quite happy. Like you say, we're we're in touching distance, and it's it's down to us in the end of the day. So, 
to be able to put ourselves in that position now where, where we, we know what we need to do, we know we're, we're in and around it and um, it's, it's, been a, it's been a positive positive season so far, 100%. And speaking of the change of obviously Derek leaving and, and the new gaffer coming in, um, how have you find working under him for the past, I think it's a month and a half so far? No, it's been, it's been really good, it's been really good. Um, Jed's come in and it's his first time, but he, you won't be able to tell. He's come in. He's like I say, he was here before. The lads all know him. The lads are comfortable with him. We all we're all rearing in the same direction. We all want to play and, and win games for him. Do you know what I mean? And he's working tirelessly, and more than a lot of other managers at the moment because things are going off. He's obviously he's on his own. With unfortunately, with what's happened with John, uh, we wish him all the best. Obviously, with recovery and everything, but. He's, he's not the the easiest the easiest time, do you know what I mean, with all these things going against him. But you won't be able to tell. He's uh, he's stuck in there and he's and he's he's doing the best he can, which is all we can ask for. And like I say, us as lads, we need to we need to dig in, which we're doing. We're trying and, and repay him, repay the favour, and, and and help him out as much as we can. Well, all things considered, with the amount that you know the gaffer's currently juggling, does that give you as players extra motivation, shall we say, yeah. uh, to, to to put in a, a shift on a Saturday? Yeah, I, personally, I don't think we need, we shouldn't need extra motivation. I think um, as, as lads, we want to, like I said, it's come down to us. It comes down to, we, we play for Morecambe, it's what the club represents, what we want to hold. And like I say, we're in this fantastic position. Let's not let it go to waste. And like I say, we've got, we've got a lot of young lads, but we've got some good experienced lads in there. And, and they're, they're helping, helping Jed in every way they can. And everyone's stepping up when they need to. And um, like I say, in his... It's crazy what he's having to deal with at the moment, but um, he's taking it in his stride. And like I say, he's all the boys and everyone's pulling in the right direction to try, try and make it as easy as possible. Get money for your old phone.